What's up guys? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome to Beast Battle Simulator. Now, I'm not a huge simulator fan, but this one really caught my attention because one, you can use dinosaurs, which I love dinosaurs. They're awesome. Two, you can put laser beams on the heads of the dinosaurs. So yeah, this is going to be pretty unbelievable. So let's check out some battles. There's also a soccer game mode, which we will be trying out, but I'll see you guys on the battlefield this is going to be glorious all right guys here we are with the first battle and this is the battle of kings on one side we have the king of the jungle multiple lions equipped with mini guns yeah that's right and they're taking on the king of the dinosaurs t-rexes with or four t-rexes with some uh, some lasers a laser beam on their forehead so this is the light side this is the dark side go ahead and vote now who you think is going to win this matchup multiple lions or a couple t-rexes with laser beams let's find out right now all right, so the laser beams are not very effective, but they go down for a chomp a little food there, but the lions are going ham. Look at it. Oh, wait, who? What? Okay, so, well, that was uh, that was one hell of an ending, and the lions actually win that engagement. So th I guess this is the last lion standing. So there you have it, guys. Uh, it looks like the lions are the true kings of the world. So now for battle number two, we got the battle of bears. We got some black bears taking on some polar bears. Now the polar bears definitely have the advantage in size, but look at what the black bears are packing. They've got some very nasty cannons here. So remember, this is the light side, this is the dark side. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, by the way, the polar bears, they've got shotguns. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's gonna be more, a little bit quicker than the cannons. We'll find out. Go ahead and vote now who you think is going to win this matchup. Let's start, here we go. Oh god, I've ne oh god, the cannons are extremely ineffective in the polar bears. <laughs> they go, look, they go in ham, man. So there you have it, the polar bears are victorious. Uh, the cannons did not really do anything there. Just the, the shotguns, shotguns were a little too quick for them. Uh, so let's, uh, let's now move on to the next matchup. By the way, I love, I love the random organs. Like, what is that, someone's stomach on the battlefield? Perfect, I love it. For battle number three, we have an epic dinosaur matchup. On one side, we've got some carnivores. On the other side, we have some herbivores. We got some club tails equipped with flamethrowers. And then over here, we've got some raptors, very suicidal raptors, equipped with some explosives. So we're going to see what happens here. Again, guys, vote on who you think is going to win. If you look down here, you can see how much money uh, each side spent on their equipment and just how much it costs. So the raptors definitely have more uh they're they they're worth more but we'll see how that plays out all right let's start the battle here we go oh my god the flames of justice oh and they're so weird. oh no who wins the raptor the raptors win but that was like the most glorious battle that last little matchup where the raptor just dives in and blows up the final club tail Oh no! <laughs> that was insanely fun. Let's move on to the next one. So for the final battle in the Colosseum, we've got a uh, small troop of gorillas taking on some Triceratops. Now there's only three, but the Triceratops are massive. And the gorillas, they've got shotguns. The front row has some shotguns. So this is gonna be a pretty sweet matchup. The money's fairly similar. So on the light side, we got the gorillas, the dark side, the Triceratops. Who do you think is going to win today's matchup? Let's go ahead and find out. Here we go. Oh, the shotguns get an early start. Uh, open and fire. And oh my God. The Triceratops go down so quickly. Good God. You know what? Let's try without. Um, let's, uh, how do we remove? I guess we just got to clear it. Yeah, let's try without the shotguns because shotguns seem to be a little broken right now. They just seem a little OP. Just get a couple shotguns and win easy. Uh, so let's just reset this up. Get three rows like last time, but no shotgun. And we'll see how effective the gorillas are. Let's start this one real quick. Just this is just like a little bonus round. Here we go. Oh my god! 
Why did the gorillas just swing their arms around? That's like how I fought when I was like five years old. <laughs> oh man, Triceratops no match. This guy doesn't have a. Oh, he's, I thought he was still going without a hand. All right, so yeah, the Triceratops killed them. Let's go ahead and watch some football. All right, guys, so to play the soccer game mode or football game mode, you go to Sandbox. And you can see there's a lot of different maps here. Uh, really cool stuff like the Sunset Coliseum, Ice Lake. We'll just go to the soccer small and then go to go. And then we're going to see uh, some dinosaurs play some soccer. So it's going to be a classic matchup of carnivores versus herbivores. So let's go to dinosaurs. We're going to do some big old dinosaurs. So let's get, oh my god. All right, so the T-Rex. Yeah, this might be a little too small. <laughs> this is a little too close. Uh, yeah, let's go to the larger soccer field. Okay, so here is the uh, the larger soccer field. Let's uh, let's go back and put the T Rexes down. Oh, much much better. All right, so this is gonna be good old setup. Let's put a goalie back here. <laughs> okay, and then over here, let's go. I'm you know I think I'm gonna go with the Triceratops. I think that's a very worthy opponent for the T Rex. Uh, so let's uh, let's put some T Rexes here. Or it's, I'm not T-Rex, it's tri Triceratops, and that should be even for teams. Uh, nope, we need one more. There you have it, guys. Are you ready for an epic dinosaur football match? Let's get started. Here we go. All right, so the T-Rex and the Triceratops racing to the ball, but a T-Rex seems like it's going a little bit faster, and, uh, oh, no. Okay, the ball's way over there. The dinosaurs are quickly trying to get over there. Now, the dinosaurs can attack each other, but the dinosaurs going for a shot there. The T-Rex... But he just misses it, and the, uh, the, uh, the Triceratops are now going to be able to clear the shot here. Try to get it over to the T-Rex's side. Here we Oh, and he goes for the shot, but he just misses it. Oh, very, very unfortunate for them. Let's now see what happens here. The Triceratops got another chance for a shot, but still just can't get the angle just right. We've got another opportunity. Oh, no, they're losing control. And now the T-Rex is going to be able to claim this. Uh, oh, now it's going to try to... Tip it over to the other side. It looks like we do have a death on the uh, the pitch on the field. Uh, I don't know who died there. I think it was one of the Triceratops. I'm just assuming. Oh, there goes another one. Another one dies. They've got to watch where they're going. Oh, the Triceratops are just slowly dying on the battlefield. Looks like the T-Rexes are <laughs> going to take this one just because they're killing their opponent. Oh, and the ball goes in. The T-Rexes score. That's one point for the light side. It is the first to three. Here goes the second round. Triceratops going in for the kill. Oh, the T-Rex is actually once again the first ones <laughs> to get the ball. And uh, they're going for the soccer ball uh, over on the same exact spot the last time in the beginning of the round. Oh, Triceratops are in some hot water right now. The ball almost goes in from their own shot. Let's see if they can save it here. Mm, yes, they do save it. Oh, my God. They're going for it. They're going for it. No, oh, just missed the angle there. Nobody's protecting the goal. Let's see who gets over here first. This is going to be huge. It looks like the Triceratops are winning, or not winning, but they are going for the ball. Uh, oh, they just can't get to it, though. And now it's all the way over on their side. Let's see. Come on, Triceratops. We, we do have a death. What are you doing? Why? All right. All right, dude. That's two points for the T-Rex. Let's see what happens here. Triceratops going in for the kill. Let's, oh, there we go. There we go. T-Rex is trying to block this back. Oh, <laughs> T-Rex losing his footing there, but he's back up. I mean, T-Rexes are all feet, you know? This is like their game right here. <laughs> they don't, they, they can't use their hands. All right, so they're gonna try to bounce it towards the right direction. Triceratops getting dangerously close to scoring, but nope, they're not gonna take it. And now it's gonna safely go to the other side of the soccer field or the football field, depending on where you're from. Uh, but this poor Triceratops are uh, just dying. <laughs> They're dying. And it seems like they just are losing because the ball is just accidentally getting into this. Oh, they got it. And that's a victory for the T-Rex. Let's go ahead and uh, see a matchup between two animals that still exist. All right, guys, welcome back to another beautiful game of football. We are on the medium field, and we're going to keep that predator-prey theme going. So we got lions taking on gazelles. This is going to be a pretty sweet matchup. Let's go ahead and start the game. Here we go. Now, they should be quicker than the lion. The gazelles should be quicker, but we've got a bloody... Oh, my God. Looks like the lion's more interested in killing the, uh, the opponent than actually beating the opponent. Gazelles going in for an early start there. Let's see if they can win this one for the uh, herbivores here. Herbivores not seeing a lot of luck today. Uh, ugh, what is this? 
Seems like they're more like gliding through the uh, the field than actually, you know, like trying to trying to run. But the Lions are getting an early start, and yes, you see that headbutt right into the into the goal. And once again, the Predators taking a nice early lead. Let's see if the Gazelles can turn this one around. Unlike the Triceratops, they just could not beat their their prey, their the T Rex. Let's see, the Gazelles are going in for an early start. We might have a game here. Yes, we do have a tie. We've got a beautiful tie. And look at them, they're just all charging into the goal. Alright, so yeah, here we go next round, and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, a lot of them are down, they're getting back up. Uh, the, T or the Lions have, oh, the Lions go for a shot there, but just misses it. It hits the goal very close. Now the Gazelles have a chance here to, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Seems like they just missed it there. The Gazelle's going once again. We got a dead lion who's, is he still playing? Oh, no, he's still up. He was just on his back. Taking a breather. All right, so the Gazelles uh, going for the ball here. Nope. Oh, oh, that might be the right angle. Let's see. The Lions might actually get to the Gazelle. Should be a little bit faster, though. Oh, it just misses. Just misses the goal. Oh, but the Lion goes for a shot, and he's just a little too high. Hits the pole. Let's see what the Gazelles can do here. He's trying. A lot of his teammates, well, actually, a lot of them are still on the ground. Why are the Lions just randomly laying on their backs? You know, what is this? Is he dead? Is this, do we have a death on the on the playing field here? And then we got someone just walking on him. Anyways, the Lions are really close, almost head bunts it into the, there we go. So it hits the pole, but it bounces off. And that's another point for the Lions. So we got a close game here. Uh, but if the Lions score again, it is game over for the Gazelles. Let's see what happens here. Gazelles going in for an early aggressive start. Oh, we got blood everywhere. The Gazelles have an opportunity here. They're going to take the shot. Oh, just so close, so close. But the ball is getting into some dangerous territory. The Gazelles need to get in here and clear this out. And they need to get it on the other side of the playing field. Come on. Get over there. Yes. They hit it. It's all open field now. There's nobody blocking him. There he goes. He's going for the win. He's going for the shot. Will the Lions... Oh, he missed it. He missed it. The Lions are able to clear it out. Unfortunate. Oh, this guy has... <laughs> this guy doesn't have any legs. No back legs. McGee going for the shot. <laughs> what is happening? What is this? Uh, so back here, um, let's see. Okay, Gazelles, again, very close to scoring. But the Lions are making it very difficult, and they go for a shot, but they... Oh! No, no. Okay, that was so close. Lions almost taking the victory there. And Lions... Look at the, This guy's paw... Okay. All right, the Lions have nothing standing in their way. All they have to do is just knock it in. This is going to be it, guys. This is going to be the first... For the win, and the Lions take the victory here today. The Gazelles are defeated. Very unfortunate there. Uh, but yeah, if there's any matchup you want to see, uh, so let me just go ahead and show you the different different animals. I actually, I love the soccer game mode. That's really fun. So if there's anything you want to see, um, just let me know with the dinosaurs and animals. We'll definitely be doing more soccer matches in the future. But thank you guys for joining me in this very fun Beast Battle Simulator. I believe it's still in alpha or beta, it, but it's still, compared to most simulator games, it's very well de developed. So uh, definitely look out for more videos of this in the future. Uh, again, guys, let me know on, um, on what you want to see in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.